This is the laptop that I do everything on. From video editing these 4K YouTube videos you are watching to coding personal projects. It is the base 2020 M1 MacBook Air. And yes, it is good enough for all of that. Sure, it has his flaws, like the amount of storage space, but it technically always gets the job done flawlessly. Before buying this MacBook, I always had a Windows PC like most of us, and I did not know whether the hype was real or not. Many people say that Macs are overpriced, as they are from Apple, but I can honestly say that this laptop was really worth the price. I have had it pretty much since it was launched, and from then the price stayed pretty much the same. Maybe it has dropped $1 to $200. And I'm not even going to talk about the ecosystem that lets you copy-paste things between devices and other useful integrations that always work. Slowly, from a point of view of technical capabilities, this machine gets any task I throw at it done without any hiccups. Sure, you may get the Pro if you have projects with huge Docker files or you plan on editing multiple 8K video timelines, but this covers almost anything else, especially if you are just browsing the internet with Chrome or using Excel for your job. An upgrade would be money thrown away. Also, the fact that this laptop never shuts down and is always capable of resuming work from where I left it the day before, paired with an incredible battery life, makes switching back to Windows extremely difficult. Indeed, the 256 gigs of storage are not enough, but to aid that you can buy a 1TB external SSD as I've done. It is much cheaper than the upgrade Apple offers and the experience is similar. The terminal is built in and ready to go. I've coded entire projects on this thing, both front-end using Angular and back-end using serverless JS functions or mobile apps with .NET MAUI. It might sometimes get hot and the RAM limitation might be hit if you plan on coding while also having 40 tabs open in Safari, but in that case the Pro model would be a better fit anyway. The entire Mac operating system is just so clean, everything always works. Switching between desktops and opened apps also pops with a smooth animation, unlike Windows where it frame drops. It just offers a superior experience and you get to be more productive on it. Besides purely coding and video editing, I also screen recorded entire online courses on programming, link down below. All while also writing and running the code I was presenting and having a microphone hooked up to get my voice. I really couldn't believe how capable this laptop truly is and now, after 4 years almost of use, I can say I made the right decision by getting it. Again, as a small disclaimer, if you have a more demanding workflow, be it heavy code that needs to get compiled, huge 8K timelines, or live streaming with multiple scenes, this MacBook will get hot, because it doesn't have a fan, so you would need to get the Pro model for that. But in all the other scenarios, say if you are a student or a light coder slash video editor, all the other spec bumps would be a waste of money. With all this being said, let me know in the comments below what were your experience with the base M1 MacBook Air. And until next time, cheers and happy coding!